We have a long way to go before full self-driving is really feature complete, but I like getting into the nitty gritty details of what has to happen before full self-driving becomes a true reality, but kind of boils down to a few things that we can see Tesla working on in the next couple years. And for one, I want to get this out of the way from the beginning. It's just a whole lot of refinement on features that they have already announced, whether it be lane changing or right now they're training the neural net on stop signs and stop lights and teaching it how to respond to that and to get better at realizing when someone's coming or how to behave with traffic and everything like that refinement will always be there even after full self-driving officially launches and it is feature complete there will still be refinement updates which is why I don't really talk too much about refinement but I do like focusing on the actual features that need to change themselves and the next big one that Tesla has now put in their sights to come out before the end of this year is finally making complete turns on city streets so this is something autopilot and navigate on autopilot are not capable of doing right now at all. If you come to a stoplight, yes, it will stop, but if you need to turn left or right, it's not going to be able to do that for you. But they talked about it a little bit on the Q1 earnings call, and they've also updated the website to now reflect that, hey, if you buy full self-driving, you do actually get stop sign and stop line recognition, where the car will come to a complete stop, and it just requires a little bit of confirmation from the driver for the vehicle to continue driving. But in time, as the neural net learns, as they're analyzing, you know, millions and eventually billions of intersections every month, it will not need that intervention at all. But the turning thing is going to be a tricky one. You know, every time a new version of Autopilot comes out, even though Tesla still hasn't given any kind of roundabout support, everyone loves to see how Teslas will handle roundabouts or how it will handle turns or those weird places where the road does things and the computer gets confused. So turning would be probably the first time Tesla would actually come out with a software update that says, hey, yeah, uh, this car can now handle roundabouts or 90 degree turns or even sharp turns, which personally, I'm kind of excited for this one because it feels like it would be filling in all of the cracks of autopilot where it works in so many different situations of yeah you know driving on this residential street as long as there's lines on the road it can drive fine and on the freeway it can handle lane changes automatic lane changes change dynamically compared to other traffic on the road so the big bridge that can make autopilot more seamless altogether is figuring out how to take on those ramps and not only take the exits off of the freeway but also keep turning once you leave the freeway Way. So turning is a very fundamental part of full self-driving, obviously, and I'm personally no autopilot software expert, but having seen the videos Tesla has released themselves on how the vehicle was able to handle turning, as well as knowing how simple the code really seems, it feels like it wouldn't be that complicated, right? I mean, even just looking at GPS data, you can see roads in the exact angles that vehicles have to turn in order to line up with them. And we know currently that full self-driving with hardware three is able to register different different road markings, whether it's the left turn lane or the right turn lane, it picks all that up in the software. So if we have all these computers on the road analyzing this data and teaching a neural net to make itself better and better, figuring out that, hey, this is a four-way stop sign and I need to turn 90 degrees to line up with this road, I feel like that software isn't too complicated, but it can make a huge difference on full self-driving's rollout. So this is one of the last big pieces of the puzzle, but it is not the last piece of the puzzle because something Elon Musk has referenced on Twitter. Twitter a number of times that I think they're gonna have way more trouble doing than they are just traditional turns is reverse summon which is kind of a weird name but basically we have smart summon now and it's not too smart but it is getting better where you know you can walk outside of a store and you want your car to pick you up so you can hold the come get me button and the vehicle will literally with no one else in it drive up to you as long as you know you can see it and as long as you're holding down that button so it's very much in a beta form right now but reverse summon would involve the car dropping you off at some plaza or restaurant or theater, wherever you want to hang out, and then the car drives all by itself back into the parking lot and finds a parking spot. So a lot of people who have Teslas who have used auto park several times in the past can all kind of agree that reverse summon is probably going to take a long time because even when a human is driving the vehicle through a parking lot, auto park is not great at detecting when a parking spot is available or detecting how quickly it needs to actually back in or drive drive into a parking space. And also, there seems to be a lot of micro adjustments humans make when parking vehicles in a parking lot that a computer has a lot harder time picking up on. Like, just because a parking spot is physically available and the car can fit inside doesn't mean it's polite if it's incredibly crammed. And now, when you park the vehicle in that space, people are going to have a hard time getting out of their car or getting into their car because you parked so dang close to them. You know, there's a whole stigma around, hey, that's a bad parking job or that's an off-centered parking job. So, 
leaving all of that control up to the computer itself and also telling the user that they actively have the ability to get out of the car and walk in somewhere as the car goes and drives off there's a lot of variables you have to account for there more so than i think with turns which is mostly just okay must turn the wheel around this much and now start looking for the new road markings i feel like it's fairly simple there are sure some instances where it's probably going to be a bit more tricky especially when it's a tight corner and the vehicle has a hard time seeing cars coming from blind spots at high speeds but all things that i'm sure the vehicle could get better at in time because it is based on vision just like our driving is currently based on vision so if a human can learn it hopefully a computer can eventually learn it too but it seems like with current auto park setups tesla has a hard time visualizing how the vehicle itself actually sits in space especially with parking spots because every small little inch makes a noticeable difference and i'm also just curious what would happen if you got out of the car and there were no parking spots available i mean in that future does it mean the vehicle can go leave the parking lot drive to some other parking lot and park there instead and also if there's pedestrians in the way that stop the vehicle and now it's causing a pile up and you were told hey you got reverse summon so you can just walk inside and the car's gonna take care of itself well if it's anything like smart summon currently is it's gonna have a hard time doing that so reverse summon i personally predict is going to be the toughest and trickiest job the autopilot and full self-driving team has to do for the tesla lineup so when it comes to just turns i feel like this can make a substantial difference and while it won't be level five autonomy it'll be pretty dang close to level four because i'm still super excited at the idea that when i get into a vehicle all i'll have to do is basically pull out of a parking spot and then once i arrive at my location i have to grab the wheel and park it in a parking spot if that's literally all i have to do and everything else can be handled by a computer whether it be driving on city streets stopping at stop signs stop lights and also making turns because that's a huge part of navigation so that it can get on the freeway automatically change lanes adapt speed comparative to how traffic is behaving and take the exits i still would have happily pay probably way over eight thousand dollars for that feature because you're barely driving the car all you got to do is handling the leaving and the arriving parts which is like less than one percent of the driving experience so it feels like tesla is going to have 90 percent of full self-driving figured out probably like a year or so from now but that last 10 percent is going to be crucial and it's going to be really really hard in order for them to launch robo taxis or start building vehicles that don't have steering wheels attached so i'm very very excited to see them start rolling out the turning mechanism for intersections but the reverse summon stuff I think that's gonna be a big holdup I could see that taking a year maybe more because of how many variables they have to account for and how poorly auto park behaves in its current state but who knows maybe that will change in time too and before I go I just wanted to thank Mars Media for setting me up for this footage of that really cool wrap on the Model 3 feel free to check them out link in the description below and also thank you for dirty Tesla for testing so many of these autopilot and full self-driving features because I love seeing how it adapts and changes over time all that stuff in the description below thank you guys for watching hope you have an excellent rest of your day take care